So my project is on obesity and osteoporosis. Obesity is defined as the accumulation of excess body fat that can lead to negative effects on your health. It's estimated that nearly 500 million people, that's right, half a billion people worldwide are characterized as obese. In Australia, obesity accounts for $60 billion in indirect costs. Osteoporosis is characterized by a decrease in bone density, often associated with aging. It is predicted that one out of two women over the age of 60, so think about your grandmother or your mother, one out of two women will experience a bone fracture due to osteoporosis. And it doesn't just affect women. One out of three men over the age of 60 will experience a bone fracture due to osteoporosis. Both of these diseases are increasing in prevalence. Obesity, due to an abundance of available food. There's a lot of junk food, people love the taste, everyone eats it, but it's increasing obesity worldwide. Osteoporosis is increasing due to an aging population. And currently, there are no treatments for either of these diseases. Now, these two diseases may seem very different, but actually, both fat cells and bone cells originate from the same stem cell population. And in my project, I'm interested in causing a fate change of these stem cells to increase the number of bone cells as a treatment for osteoporosis and decrease the number of fat cells as a treatment for obesity. Two chemical pathways that we have identified that we can manipulate to hopefully cause this fate change are the endocannabinoids pathway and the retinoic acid pathway to, again, e increase the number of bone cells and decrease the number of fat cells. Now, obviously, I can't experiment on humans in the laboratory. So the model organism that I will be using is the zebrafish. Now, why use a zebrafish? Zebrafish is a good model organism because it has bones, as you can see, stained here in red, and fat, as you can see here, fluorescing in yellow. And both of these tissues, bone and fat, are similar to the bone and fat that we have in humans. Zebrafish also make a good model organism because I can easily treat them with chemicals just by putting the chemicals in the water. And it is very easy to observe their cellular structure, their genetics, and their physiology. And any valuable information that I find with my experiments on the zebrafish, we can hopefully use as treatments for obesity and osteoporosis. Thank you.